This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Jaraman and today we're gonna to be talking about an upcoming signature sneaker for Derrick Rose, the Adidas D-Rose 9. This photo leaked on the internet not too long ago and let me just start by saying this guys, I really appreciate this design of what may be the D-Rose 9. I think it's unique, I think it stands out from the rest and it separates itself from the competition and what we usually see with sneakers, especially on-court basketball sneakers. Now whether or not I actually like that design I'm not really too sure on but again I want to emphasize this point I appreciate it because like I said it does look unique I'm just not sure it's gonna translate into a great solid encore performer and I'm gonna tell you why so let's break it down for starters let's take a look at the upper as you can see it seems to be some sort of knit material now I'm not sure if it is prime knit. If it is prime knit, it's a much more closed, close knitted version of prime knit. It's not as open and free, and it doesn't look as soft as the prime knit we see on the Ultra Boost, but it does look like a knitted material. It would be hard to imagine Adidas would use a knitted material and it not be prime knit. So I'm just gonna say it does look like it features prime knit. But the most interesting thing about the upper to me is the collar area. Check it out. That collar area, especially towards the heel, looks really funky and I'm not sure how this is going to translate into fit. Now we do have photos of what is labeled as the D-Rose 9 in an Adidas basketball catalog and that heel design does look very interesting but what it translates into in person and on the feet of whoever this person is in this photo, it just doesn't look that great. I don't know, it looks like there's a lot of extra material and that back heel area just looks like it's going to be flapping around while I'm on the basketball court. And that is something that I'm not looking forward to. And I'm also not too sure how I feel about them visually. It kind of just looks a little too weird. And like I said, unnecessary. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the cushioning. And this is a little bit of a surprise because we cannot see Boost Foam anywhere in these photos. Now that doesn't mean that the D-Rose 9 will not feature Boost, but I do find it interesting that we can't see Boost at all because we see both sides of the sneaker and again, no Boost foam. You would think that Adidas wants to show off Boost. That's one of the best things about Boost. It looks how it feels. You look at Boost foam and you say, wow, that looks really squishy, really comfortable. And you would think that Adidas would wanna show that off. If there is Boost in the D-Rose 9, we cannot see it visibly. It may be caged, but like I said earlier, you would think Adidas would wanna showcase the Boost Foam instead of hiding it and encapsulating it into a rubber midsole. I do think it's worth noting that Derrick Rose isn't the star he once was, so maybe Adidas is revamping his signature line because you'd have to imagine that his signature sneaker sales are more on a downward trend, so maybe they're taking Boost out of his line and implementing something like Bounce like we see in Damian Lillard's signature line, and that would allow the Derrick Rose signature line to have a more wallet-friendly price point. In fact, if you take a look at the catalog photo, you can see some handwritten words up there in the upper left-hand corner, and apparently this is indicating that the D-Rose 9 will retail for 400 Chinese wands, which is approximately about 60 USD. Now you're probably saying, wow, that's hella cheap, but don't take it to heart too much because I was recently in China and I noticed that the money just doesn't work the same over there. For example, Clay Thompson sneakers in China are priced at about 60 to 70 USD dollars, which is a lot cheaper than what the Clay Thompson sneakers sell for here in the States, which is anywhere between 110 to 120 USD. So the money just doesn't work the same. So even though it may say the D-Rose 9 is gonna cost 400 Chinese wands, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna sell for 60 to $70 in the States, probably more along the lines of $100 plus, probably 120. As for the rest of the sneaker, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a very unique design and I appreciate it. I'm just not completely sold on it yet. It kind of looks like a lifestyle sneaker. It does not look like a basketball sneaker whatsoever to me. It kind of looks like one of those sneakers that you would find in a Journeys retailer, which isn't a bad thing, it's just not necessarily my cup of tea. Now another piece of information that we can mine from that catalog photo is a release date, and apparently these are slated for an early July release date, 
and that would be a pretty quick turnaround from the D-Rose 8 to the 9. You could also take a peek at the traction pattern, but it's a really grainy photo. You can't really get a good sense as to what the traction will look like. So that pretty much takes care of my first impressions on what may or may not be the D-Rose 9. I'm pretty confident that these are indeed the D-Rose 9. So that's what I think about them, but I want to know what you think about them in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to them? What do you think about the design? And how much should they cost? I mean, the Derrick Rose signature sneaker line, should it receive a price cut? Because let's be honest, his popularity has recently seen a cut for better or worse. So let me know all about that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name's Aaron. Catch you in the next one. Peace. As for the wrap up traction that goes up onto the midsole and a little bit on the upper on both the lateral and the medial sides, this is a fantastic feature if you're a four foot heavy herky jerky type of player like Kyrie because as you move side to side with your quick changes in direction, these traction teeth, which is what I'm calling them, will keep your foot snapping.